So Elizabeth, it's actually a deeply personal story. Where is this coming from? Yes, the film is inspired by um, the things that happened in my family around my grandmother's uh, memory loss related to Alzheimer's disease and the kind of struggle we had with caregiving for her. Um, yes. This is an extremely emotional movie because I, I personally can relate just with a, a family member. I, they didn't have Alzheimer's. My father had cancer, mm -hmm. but it was almost assisting someone into the next phase of life, uh, assisting someone into their death. That's why it was so emotional. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, this obviously has Chicago connection for you as well. Can you explain to us what sure. that connection is? Sure. Yes. My grandparents um, are from Oak Park. Uh, the western suburb of Oak Park and so we have a lot of family connections there and I grew up um, in and around the Chicago area and so I left when I was a teenager but this is like coming home it's mm -hmm. really a special thing for me and Robert you actually play the husband in the film who yep. just cannot let his wife go I think something that it just it, the love just oozes off of the screen and going through that difficult moment is there something that I guess you experience going through that film or even through life that you'd be able to share well, um, with people trying to do this with kids and family and trying to uh, get through a disease. Uh, I am proud to say that I'm a father over 200 years if you count up the ages of my children. <laughs> that's a long time. That is a long time and so I've had plenty of parenting and, uh, and that's the basic uh, job of life is caring for others. You know, you start out not being able to care for yourself and then you can care for yourself but most of life is caring for others until the very end when you can no longer care for yourself and have to rely on the ones you've parented. You better do a good job, Bob. Yeah. So, uh, and, uh, and yes, we've all cared for people who, uh, who are, my dad, uh, when he was uh, almost 81 and, uh, and, and failing, uh, I cared for him uh, after Jackie Brown I made uh, the picture. He came out once, spent one night on the set, he went uh, back on a plane. I wasn't sure I was ever going to see him again. I wow. jumped. As soon as we finished the picture, I ran to Rochester, and for the final 36 days, I cared for him and never regret it. Anybody who is uh, able to care for their folks, never will they regret having done so. Yeah, so it's you're ushering someone into you are. death. It's, can, it's certainly be a hard moment. Can you talk to me just about what kind of resources, what you found is out there, the support is out there for the people who might be struggling in a situation like this? Yes, I think one of the most interesting things has been um, hearing people's stories about their own families after they see the film and how many people relate to the kind of conflict that arises when you have to suddenly parent your parent and you're a bit blindsided by it and the conversations that you've had don't really prepare you and you're doing so with a sibling that you kind of don't maybe don't quite see eye to eye about life on and um, the ARP I found has a, a great resource on their web on their website um, just a, a lot of information for caregivers just to kind of help open that dialogue because you want to have I think a great last few years with yeah. your loved ones and not be sort of, you know, um, full of conflict during that time. It's tough because it affects the entire family, especially yeah. in the film Hillary Swank uh, portrayed, um, I guess that's a connection to your life, someone that has children and is trying to get through everything. So certainly an emotional story. Thank you so much for sharing it. Thank what you. they had opens in theaters on October 26th and you can go to alz.org slash Illinois for more info on Alzheimer's symptoms and resources. They have support that is available.